All right. Well, um, I guess we're doing another tier list today. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I want to do it on, but <clears throat> uh, at the time of this recording, I uploaded the Sonic one, which I apologize, that was really long. Um, when I was trying to edit it, I was like, what do I do? Because a lot of the time I'm just kind of explaining my reasoning and I went through like tons of games. Thankfully for this one, there's not that many, but there's so many Sonic games when you think about it. Um, and you know, I can, I can put the not played for the others, but yeah, I, I guess I had a lot to say. So I either had to like completely cut my conversation and just be like, I put Sonic 2 here, the end, move on. You know what I mean? And I kind of didn't really want to do that. I wanted to at least justify my actions rather than just be like, this is my tier list, enjoy. Um, so I wasn't sure on whether to do this, but Bullet did ask about a Crash Bandicoot one. And so I said, oh, why not? Uh, the reason why I didn't want to do it is because I haven't played that many Crash games. Well, okay, let me, let me rephrase this. I've played most of the console games and that is it. I have not played any of the handheld games whatsoever. None of them. Um, so there's going to be a few like, okay, I'm going to have to create another, another tier. How do I do that again? There we go. You can kind of see everything now. All right. So starting from the left, uh, this is Crash of the Titans, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I played Crash of the Titans first time ever blind on the live stream. And I wanted to give it a benefit of the doubt. I hear people saying it's it's so bad. It's like, you know, the the game that ruined the franchise, as some people say. Um, but there are also a, a lot of apologists for this game where people are like, oh, yeah, like, it's actually not as bad as people say. But then I also hear people say, oh, you know, it's a bad crash game. But it's not a bad game in general. And I'm sorry, I cannot agree with that. Like, you're entitled to your opinion, but I cannot agree with that. It's just a bad game, period. I hate that reasoning. I do kind of hate that reasoning. Um, where it's like, it's not a crash game. Because that's kind of like how I feel like with Rayman Rayman Rabbits. It's like, it's not a Rayman game, but it really isn't. Rayman's in it, but it's not like your typical Rayman game. And... The problem with Titans is that it does have platforming in it. So there is crash elements in it. He can spin, but spin is useless in that game. And I think you have to unlock the spin, I think. And then, like, he gets actual dizziness. Since when does Crash Bandicoot get dizzy? I mean, I know it's logical, but he's never gotten dizzy before. I hate that. It's so dumb. Um, I don't like the fact that you pretty much have to control titans like that is the game you're controlling titans and you are punching other titans if you try to battle them with crash you're pretty much going to die in like one to two hits it's kind of ridiculous and it gets very frustrating because they throw so many titans at you all the bloody time and even when i have titans and I, you know when i'm controlling a titan i still lose there are times where when i was in the live stream i literally just tried to bolt and run away because the titans were just overwhelming me they were killing me too quickly i can't tell you how long i've been stuck on levels in that game there was one area where like i got to this boss arena and i was stuck in it for so bloody long and right if you want if you if you if you if you, if you want to see true terror um, I, well, I don't know if it is on YouTube. I think it is, though. The Crash... I think I did a highlight for it. Yeah, I think I did. Um, the highlights for my stream is on YouTube. I'm pretty certain. I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description. If it's there, go watch it. There is a scene where you have to fight a boss. And it took me forever. Forever to beat. And then when I finally beat it, it played the cutscene. Knowing that I've beaten it. But it gave me a game over. The game glitched out and gave me a game over even though I won. And I had to redo the boss fight again. At that point, I was like, no, I'm done. Like, I'm actually done. This, I'm sorry, but this is the worst Crash Bandicoot game I've ever played. I don't ever want to touch it again. Don't want to ever touch it again. I'm, I'm, I was always tempted to sell it. And I very rarely sell games. I sold Sonic, and the, Hedge Sonic the Hedgehog and the Secret Rings because it was so bad. I haven't sold Sonic Boom. It's bad. I still have it, but... Yeah, like I'm sorry, but I cannot defend Crash of the Titans. If you like this game, fine, but I'm sorry. 
It's the worst Crash Bandicoot game I've ever played. I don't ever want to touch that game ever again. It's horrible. I'm sorry. Um, and because of that reason, I might as well go over the Mind of a Mutant. I, to be honest, because of Titans, I don't want to touch Mutants. I've never played Mutants, but I'm going to put it there. Um, people say that apparently it's better than Titans. They've improved. I don't know. Maybe it's like the Black Knight when it comes to Secret Rings, where Black Knight still has Secret Rings problems, but not as much. Uh, Black Knight kind of improves on things, and I definitely will say Black Knight is less jank and less annoying than Secret Rings. It's... I still don't think Black Knight is too great. The music is pretty good, but it's... 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 it's, on, it's an on-rail Sonic game. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about Sonic. We've already done that. We're here to talk about Crash. So, I've never played Mod of the Mutant. People say it's better. I don't know. To be honest, I... <laughs> Titans hurt me. <laughs> you don't understand. I get. I tried to give that game the benefit of the doubt, but my first experience, pretty much, I want to be the last. I don't ever want to touch that game. That game hurt me. <laughs> oh, that game hurt me, and and that that just put me off so much. I don't want to even give my mutants a try. Maybe one day, but I really don't want to. I'll be honest. Um, I guess I'll just put because I can see it. I'll put. Mind if a mutant on DS? I didn't even know it was on DS. The more you know. Um, anyway. <clears throat> Crash Bash. Uh, B. B. Um, it's not a fantastic party game. But I enjoy it for what it is. It's definitely more fun when you play with friends. Um, I've definitely had a lot of fun playing with friends when I was growing up. Um, and there are so many games I really like. You know, if anyone's been watching my Crash Bash 200% run... Oh boy, like, never go for the Platinums unless you're crazy like me, because that game is just ridiculously hard when going for the Adventure Mode Platinum and all that jazz. If you play the Adventure Mode up to the boss, then it's fine. But if you go for Platinum Relics, you're pulling your hair out, just like I am. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be losing hair before I, before I even become old at this rate, but there you go. Um, I don't even know how I'm going to beat that game. <laughs> I still don't know. I still don't know, but there you go. We'll try. I have I have failed before. I have said I'm going to do something, and then I've straight up said, like, I can't do it. I give up. I've given up before. Um, so I hope that doesn't happen here, but who knows. But it's decent because, I've, like, I have childhood memories with it, and it's fun, but it's not super great. I don't think it's quite C, but it's it's not it's not that great. It's 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 okay. it's decent. It's decent. It's decent fun with your friends. Adventure mode is kind of eh. Got uh, you know some cool amount of characters to choose from. I mean, Koala Kong returns, uh, Doctor Embryo returns, so that's cool. Um, you know, te technically, unless you count. No, okay, never mind. I was gonna say it's the first time we've technically played as Coco. When I mean uh, when I mean Coco, I mean on foot because okay, you play as her in Warped, but she's always she's always like using vehicles or, or using power, you know, on power or something. But like this is the first time you can actually jump around and spin with her and stuff um, into Rafa Cortex. But I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's 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 a fun little party game with your friends, but one player mode is a lot to be desired, and the mini games aren't anything too crazy. So I'll put it at B. Um, this is tag team racing. I'm gonna think I have to put it on B as well. Um, it is a far cry from Crash Team Racing. To me, it doesn't even compare. Um, I thought the whole platforming slash um, racing could potentially be an interesting way of doing it you know they try and implement two two gameplays in one basically you know you do the platforming outside in the world map and you explore and stuff but the problem is is that there really isn't much point okay you collect one per three and there's like kind of like missions to do crystals and you can like unlock costumes and stuff but i just don't care enough and that is the problem the platforming isn't too great um it's not terrible but it's it, it, you know it's not the it's not the best that crash is controlled but it, that's, that's the thing i just there's no real reason for it to me at that point i was just like you know what you should have just made it so that you just either drive around a world map like CTR or just, you know, make it more simpler, I guess. Just go go from A to B or whatever. 
Um, because I just I didn't see the point of it. That's the thing. I didn't see much of a point. I didn't feel the drive to go around because there isn't really much to do, and I don't really care about doing missions and unlocking costumes. I'll be absolutely honest. It just wasn't there. Um, I didn't really care too much for the new characters either. I'll be honest. Um, and the game, the game relies heavily on the team, the tag team mechanic, and I get it, but that's just not what I'm all about. I don't want to have to always rely on, on the tag team mechanic, but one thing I soon noticed is that if you try to win on your own, you're not, well, you're not going to win. So yeah, I just don't like the fact that I have to rely on that all the time. I had fun for what it is. When you understand what the game is, you're like, okay, it's fun for what it is, but it's no CTR. It just isn't. It's just nowhere near as good as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> this might trigger people, but I had more fun playing the bowling mini game. I'm sorry. That's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. I'm gonna leave it there because uh, <laughs> I think that's a, that's a note to leave it on. Um, so because I see it, apparently there's a Game Boy Advance and a DS version of Titans. Why? I do not know, but we're gonna put them there. I've never played them. Um, Crash Bandicoot. This is a Crash Bandicoot 2 I'm not aware of. Oh, this is Nitro Kart 2? I know there's a Nitro Kart on the GBA. Is that what it is? I thought it was just called Nitro Kart on the GBA. I didn't think it was Nitro Kart 2. Is there a Nitro Kart 2? I don't know. I actually don't know what this is. I'm not sure. Fan made? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's going there, so I don't know. Speaking of Nitro Kart, it's right next to it. Alright, um... I'll, yeah, I'll put it in A. I'll put it in A. I enjoy Nitro Kart, I think, more than Crash Bash, and definitely more than Tag Team. So I'll put it in A. Um, I still kind of think, like, it might not be quite A. Again, it, it's no CTR, but it's definitely not terrible. I definitely enjoyed the game. Um, it was fun. Um... You know, it just... I think it's mainly, like, the controls and stuff. The controls and stuff with it. Um, the bosses are alright. They're okay. Um, again, it's just sort of like... I wasn't pulled in, you know. I, I would admit I did kind of prefer the original... Like, the, the CTR bosses and stuff. Um, I wasn't really pulled into the new characters. Velo is a pain, man. I hate Velo. And, and I also kind of prefer Oxide, honestly. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just kind of liked Oxide as, as the evil villain even though he's a cheating b-head but yeah i don't know but for what it was it was fine and you know you got the players uh crunch and stuff um it was a di it was different because you played as a team um and i actually kind of like the fact that when you did a race you could choose between your team members so you weren't just restricted to crash uh you could play you could play as coco instead or um you could play as uh, Crunch, and you know if you're with Team Cortex, you could play as Cortex Tidy or Engine. Um, you know, so yeah, I kind of like that. That was that was kind of cool. Um, you can definitely tell some levels were sort of CTR kind of inspired. Like I think the 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 not crash level is basically Crash Cove, <laughs> and so you know, um, but that's fine. That that's that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, so it was definitely a decent play. Um, I can go back to it. I can definitely go back to it um, and have fun. But normally, like, if I'm going to pick, it's going to be CTI every time. It's not quite there, but it was still pretty decent. Um, I don't know what this is. I think this is Boom Bang. Never played. And from what I hear, it's a good job I haven't. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. Here's the Game Boy Advance version of Card. This is the one that had Spire in it, right? Yeah, I, I never had the Game Boy Advance, so I never got to play those games, and like I said, I've never thought to go back and buy one, so, so yeah, <laughs> that's all I can really say, so yeah, but there you go, that's the Insane Trilogy, yes, ooh, okay, mm, no, I'm putting it on S tier, the reason why I was Debating on putting on A tier, but I do think it's above Nitro Kart. I enjoy it more than Nitro Kart. But then again, I just kind of prefer plat the platforming anyway, you know, as opposed to the racing. Uh, but there you go. Um, the reason I was thinking to put in an A is because it's a fantastic remaster, remake, whatever. It's it's fantastic. 
Um, it's a great way to pull the old fans in, and it's a great way of introducing new fans. Uh, they changed some things for Crash Bandicoot 1, notably, you know, they made things easier when collecting gems. You know, it's it's more forgiving, so that's good. While also giving us, you know, slippery, not slippery climb, um, I, I've gone blank. The, the other the other one, the slippery climb, I'm sure Bullet or someone will correct me, but I don't remember right now. So I'm sorry. <laughs> if it comes to me, I'll, I'll tell you, but I've already gone what what it is but you'll know what i mean the not slippery climb the secret level level that was never in the original but was supposed to supposed to be i i'm honestly drawing a blank so maybe i'll edit and post and be like this level like i don't remember but the point is it looks fantastic the music is pretty good as well um you get to play as coco it's mainly an aesthetic but you know, it's cool. You get to play as Coco. The animations, the personality. You can see the the amount of work that Vicarious Visions have put into the game. And I absolutely love it. Um, I think they did a fantastic job. The thing that holds it down... Um, Crash 1 or 2 probably didn't need relics. But it is what it is. Um, and, like... The controls aren't 1 to 1. This is kind of me being nitpicky. I think the controls are pretty good, but they're not one to one. It was definitely harder playing Crash Bandicoot One because you're so used to, when you're so used to the tank controls. If you're a new player, maybe not. Um, but if you're a veteran like me, it definitely takes some getting used to. And I had some issues with all three games, like hit boxes and stuff, that I felt like. Uh, you know, you definitely felt like you shouldn't have got hit there or something, and you did, and, like, the hitbox was still there, but the animation was gone, and you're like, wait, there's nothing there, and it's like, why did the hitbox last so long, things like that, um, you know, uh, and, and some of, like, Crash Warped, like, the, the motorbike, the motorcycle levels, I think they control a lot worse, um, not that the, they control particularly great in Warped in the original, but, I definitely felt like, in my opinion, they were better than Warped. So there, there are things here and there. But then it's like, but then it's like the uh, the plane levels are even better. Not that the plane levels were bad in Warped. I think they were pretty good. But I, I felt like they improved them to make them even better. So there are some pluses. There are some downs. And that's kind of where I, why I wanted to put it to A. But I'm going to put it to S because I can't deny the amount of, you know, work and attention that they did but i'll say i'll put i'll put it as an s as in like as a little bit lower compared to say uh i was like where is it warped warped is at the top for me warped is my favorite um for me warped had the perfect amount of platforming and like i want well vehicle but i meant like they mixed the gameplay up if you're someone who's like no platforming and nothing but then crash 2 is probably going to be your favorite and i could see why crash Bandicoot 2 is a close second for me um but i actually kind of i i liked um i liked most of the gimmicks i you know i had fun uh with the para levels um i had fun with the plane levels i sort of have fun with the motorcycle levels once i got used to them the only ones i'm not the huge fan of is the jet ski levels i can kind of leave them um, but apart from that, um, it was fine. And I just love the variety of different levels. You know, you've got medieval level, you've got, um, prehistoric levels, you've got, uh, uh I guess like you're, like you're in Arabia or India type levels. You've, um, uh, what else? Uh, da, 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 da. you've got like underwater levels. You've got, um, Egypt levels. You know, I love the variety because you're traveling through time got future like futuristic levels uh it's really cool um you know and it honestly introduced some awesome characters uh and tropey dingo dial you know like uka uka i was legit like intimidated by him when i was a kid i thought who is this evil mask you know in relation to aku aku and aku aku speaking for the first time you know, it was like, whoa, okay. Like, I was legit like, whoa, who is this evil mask? And the way he talked and stuff. Um, you know, Crash Warped did so many things. And it's, and it's the first game we could play as Coco. I was like, yay! Like, you know, she was in Crash 2. You saw her for, like, the intro and then that was it. And then she, you didn't play as her or anything. And you only saw her in holograms. But you get to play as her. I was like, oh, that's cool. 
Shame you only, you know, did gimmick levels, but still, you know, Crash Warped just, just was like the perfect package to me, personally. Um, did a lot of things right, um, and that's why it's there. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, see, the nostalgia in me wants me to put it up to A, but I kind of want to put it on to B because it's just a hard game. Um, e. See, I enjoy. I'm going to put it in above Crash Bash. I think I still enjoy Crash Bandicoot more than Crash Bash, but it is a really hard game. It's 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 somewhat janky and really hard, but. You know, it was the it was the first game. It was the uh, the ground making for the rest of the series, um, and despite it being hard, I still very much enjoyed it. Um, but Crash Two and Crash Three are definitely on a higher level than Crash Bandicoot. Um, you know, speaking of Crash Two, it's definitely going up on the S tier. I will probably do it like that. Yeah, there you go. Um, Crash Three and Crash 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 Two right behind it. Crash Two is a fantastic game. Um, I love Cortex's performance. Um, it introduced, like, you know, the slide jumping. Um, and cr you know, slide jumping and crouching. Overall, just refined the controls to be so much better. Uh, the variety of levels are cool. The music is awesome. I love the warp rooms. I love the bosses. Uh, the, introduction, the introduction of Polar. Adorable Polar. of the Polar levels. Um, yeah, fantastic game. It's core cool platforming, really, apart from the polar levels, I suppose. So, a lot of people see that as their favourite, and I totally get behind it. I really do. Um, I don't think the boss fights are, are anything too spectacular. I do think, like, those are the one things that the boss fights are kind of eh. Um, especially Cortex. Cortex, Cortex, uh, boss fight in Crash 2, I think it's probably the worst. At least one of the worst. It's just a chase. It's, it's kind of underwhelming. Um, but it, it's still an absolutely fantastic game. Really enjoyed it. I love finding the, like, the little secrets and teleporting to secret levels. I love that stuff growing up. Fantastic game. Uh, it deserves to be up the top tier for sure. 100%. Uh, I guess I might as well just do this. Because I've not played any of the Game Boy Advance games. I hear that the Spyro Crash crossover games weren't very good. Um, is that Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure or whatever it's called? Um, what, one of the Game Boy Advance games was good. That's what I hear. Um, but I've never played them. So, like I said, all handhelds are all in here. Twin Sanity. Ooh, I'm going to have to put it on A. Um, the reason why, it, again, put it above Nitro Kart. I enjoy it more than Nitro Kart. Um, the reason why it's not S is mainly because it's just, it's so incomplete. It's incomplete and it's broken. It could be beaten, just like Sonic 06, but it's 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 an it's an incomplete, broken game. But I love it. I love Cortex's performance. is probably the best thing about the about the game. Um, you know, Crash and Cortex messing around with each other, beating each other up, and just you know, you having to drag Cortex around while holding a crystal is it's hilarious. And using him in different ways, like throwing him about, using him as a hammer. To, you know, it's. Twin Sanity has got a lot of personality, but Cortex is is honestly fantastic. I absolutely love his performance. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, you know, he, he he dresses up as Coco. That's kind of creepy. I didn't know he was in the cross dressing, <laughs> but it's absolutely hilarious. Um, and I just love the the open world feel, but it like transitions to different areas. It was cool, and I honestly really think that. Uh, I want them to do another game sort of like that, where it's like more open world, and you sort of transition into different areas that take you to the next level. Um, so they're all kind of sort of like connected in a way. I kind of like that. It was really cool. But yeah, it's so buggy and so broken um, that you can you can pretty much backtrack to it to at any point. But when you backtrack, um, cutscenes respawn. So you can respawn cutscenes, but not only can you respawn cutscenes, when you respawn certain cutscenes that, like, play certain things, you can, like, redo certain, like, I guess, areas. I wouldn't say levels, but, like, part of a level, or, like, sometimes you can even, I think, like, redo the boss. Because it, I guess, like, the check that you've beaten this area didn't go away, so if you return, it just comes back. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, it's a very broken, buggy game, so I can't put it up to S tier, but 
Um, my God, if it was only if it was a completely finished game, it would probably be S tier. I really enjoyed Twin Sanity. It's it's the best PS2 Crash game as far as I'm concerned. It's it's it has so much potential. It's just a shame, like I said, it was just rushed and a lot of problems with it. But it's still got a lot of bloody charm, mate. And the music's so catchy. So yeah, CTR S tier, S tier, S tier. It's so good. It's my favourite kart racer of all time thus far. It is so bloomin' good. Okay, maybe the graphics aren't too crazy, um, but like, uh, you know, it was it was it was fine. And the, the, the core the core thing about it is the gameplay, and the gameplay is fantastic. I think all all the carts control great. Um, I love the boost mechanics and sliding. You you know you really enjoy getting good at the game and, and uh, have tons of fun playing with my friends. You know shooting missiles and bombs and stuff. It is it is just a as far as I'm concerned, it's a ton of fun. I mean if you've played kart races, you know. Um, but it is oh, it's immensely fun. I absolutely adore Crash Team Racing. I can always come back to it. Um, and play that. I'll play the adventure mode and really enjoy that. And I like to challenge myself because if you want to challenge yourself, you've got the relics and and, and the time trials and things like that, you know. Um, and I like I like Oxide for being a dick. Like he is a dick, but I kind of like that, you know. And it's cool seeing the boss fights talk. You get to see. I mean, Ripper Roo kind of talks, but not really. But like you see Papu Papu, you hear Papu Papu talk. You, you know, you've got Pinstripe talking. You've got uh, Komodo Joe talking. You know. It's really cool, um, you know, and they have their own gimmicks for their boss fights and stuff. So, yeah, overall, it's just it's a fantastic game. Absolutely love it. Love the levels, love the gameplay, love the the amount of different characters. If you can like fake crash and play as all the bosses and stuff. So, yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. <sighs> Rafa Cortex, it's got to be a B. Um, I do kind of hate a bit on this game. I wouldn't say it was quite C tier. I wouldn't say it was quite C tier. Um, but it's on the lower B. To me, the Wrath of Cortex... I was really excited when I first played the game because it reminded me of Warped. And I thought, okay, it's going to be like Warped, but is it going to be as good? And I just kind of went in and I was like, you know what? I'm sure it's going to be great. It's, it's, an, it's a Warped knockoff. <laughs> Like, if anyone doesn't agree with me here, I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. You are not seeing it. You're probably, like, you know, shrouded by nostalgia or something. Because anyone in their right mind will know that Crash the Wrath of Cortex is basically a warped clone. It pretty much is. And it's not a very good one at that. I'm sorry. Um, Crash just feels slower. Um, when you climb, he's incredibly slow, for whatever reason. Um, the graphics is okay, it's not too great, but it's okay. Um, like, Twin Sanity, I think, looks better. Um, it's, it, it was a launch title, you know, but whatever. Graphics, I hate when people are like, oh, graphics is, like, so important. I don't think it is. I feel like people who think graphics is so important clearly have... Clearly are over from the new generation, so they have not experienced older games like us. As far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much what I, what I, what I think. Or they just simply just like looking at art. They clearly want to look at art and not play video games because a game can look pretty, but if the gameplay is shit, I'm never going to touch it. I'll just look, look, look at it on YouTube or something. You know what I mean? If I, I want the gameplay to be good, I want to be able to enjoy the game. So you know, of course, if the games are you know, a garbled mess when you look at it, of course. But if the game has decent enough graphics, then the gameplay is fantastic. And to me, it's like, okay, all right. You know, it's like graphics isn't everything. But I can understand when it's like Bubsy 3D bad graphics, and fair enough. But um, anyway, yeah, I just think he's just slow and sluggish. I do like the fact that they, they enabled you to play as Coco more freely now. Um, like, like she, she, you can actually play as her... Um, you know, with our own platforming stages, which is really cool, and I do like that. Um, and there's some like Chinese theme levels, which I really like because I'm a big fan of like Asia and China, Japan, all that jazz. That's really cool. Um, she even has her own scooter at one point. Um, it's a shame there's no like ride on Pearl or Polar. I felt like that game definitely lacked that. 
But what they didn't lack was the amount of vehicle gimmicky levels. There was too much of it. Warped, I felt like, was just about right. Rather, Cortex was like, did you like that? Well, we'll just add a ton of extra stuff. And I didn't enjoy any of it. Like, at all. Um, I'll be honest. <laughs> it was, like, it just, it went good. Um, a lot of them didn't even control that great. Um, and there's this like there's like this weird vehicle thing that you walk that you that crash jumps into where you run around and you've basically got like a like a bazooka a bazooka arm. It's kind of like he's going into like an Iron Man suit type of thing, like, or like a Wampa suit. I don't know. But then you get the bazooka anyway. So to me, it's like, do we really need this thing when we've when, when you get the bazooka anyway? I don't know. It just didn't it seem like there's much point. The water levels, I don't like them. They're way too big. Uh, they're way too big. They're too dark at times. I feel like so you can easily miss boxes, and also like some of the some of the like graphics are blocking things. So you can't really see, um, and they're they're too long in my opinion. Um, they drag on, they drag on at times. So not not the biggest fan. I'll be honest. <sighs> I like the idea of a, a I guess a kind of like an evil bandicoot sort of thing. But I felt like they dropped the ball with Crunch. Also, Crunch is dark as hell, though. Saying things like he wants to wrap his hands around Crash's neck and, like, strangle him. And basically just any way you could say of, like, I want to kill Crash and murder this bandicoot. I'm like, dude, this is supposed to be a kid's game. Calm the heck down. Um, The boss fights weren't fun at all. Um, they're underwhelming. Some of the masks were funny. I mean, Pyro is voiced by Mark Hamill. <laughs> and Wawa is voiced by that sergeant dude. Which is absolutely hilarious. But apart from that, I don't really care. You know, I, it's just, I don't care. I don't care for the boss fights at all. I don't think they're very good. I don't like the fact that, like, Dingo Dial, Tiny, and, like, Entropy. And, was en Engine was in the game, but I... I, well, he, he was in the cutscene, but I don't know if he was in the game at all. I can't remember. But I know Dingo Dial, Tiny, and Entropy were just... They were just put there as gimmicks. It's that level. Um, they're not boss fights. I'm like, wow, they've been, you know, put down as basically just... These characters I like have been put down as just, like, random mooks. And I'm like, oh, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Um, you know... When 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 Wrath of Cortex does it right, it does it right. There are some levels that are just general fun. There are also some quite difficult levels, and some levels can drag on for quite a while, um, and sometimes without like checkpoints spaced properly. So again, it just feels like it tries so hard to be warped but fails, in my opinion. But there are parts of it I enjoy, so I feel like I can't be too harsh. Can't be too harsh on it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's trying so hard to be warped and just not doing a very good job of it, as far as I'm concerned. And with that said, guys, that's going to be the last one, because I have no idea what this game is, and I doubt I've played it. So yeah, this is probably still going to be really loud, but, uh, really loud, really long. This is my, um, this is my list, this is my tier list. So, I didn't put anything in C. I weren't really sure, I mean, I was, I was tempted to put Wrath of Cortex in there, or Tag Team, but I, I think I'll put them in B. Um... Honestly, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's it, since I haven't played all the handheld games. Uh, well, I guess, let me know what you think. Tell me how wrong I am once again in the comment section below. <laughs> Hashtag opinions. Um, I guess if you, want, if you guys want me to do another one, let me know. Uh, I mean, I guess I could always do Spyro, but again, I haven't done handhelds. But... If you guys want me to do Spyro or something else, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can do another tier maker list thing. Um, I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things of videos because at the moment my PC is stable. And with some luck it will be stable for much longer now that I've replaced the part. But we'll see how it goes. It could just crash tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully we'll get back to normal uploads soon. Alright guys, take care. See you later.